The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out. An inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you. He will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward? whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, the master will put that servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk. Then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will, but did not make preparations, nor act in accord with his will, shall be beaten, beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this and worthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart. And that people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, that was Father Ronnie Baleli, SBD. From Davao, Father Ronnie is often mistaken as high school because he looks so young. 
But he has a big heart, a big voice and a big heart. In fact, he's going back again to Ghana this week to follow what the Master has told him to do. Go to the whole world and preach the gospel to all creation. And dear friends, today, you know, I just, speaking of being little, I can't help but remember our parents. Thank you, dear parents, wherever you are, for the many lessons we learn, which we carry until now. Little things like carry a rosary in your pocket, be kind to people, uh, you pray, uh, be joyful, put up a smile. These are the things we learn. Pero alam po nyo, for us Filipinos, what was the very first thing we learned when we were babies? What was the first song or poem? You remember? Close, open, close, open. Close, open, <laughs> close, open. I mean, little babies doing this right away. And what's the other thing? Oh, beautiful eyes, <laughs> beautiful eyes. Ibang bata gumagunan ganun na. Close open and beautiful eyes. You know, if we learn this lesson, we've made it for life. One of the most basic lessons in life is close open, stay open. Hindi naman tinuro ng mga magulang natin. Close, 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 close. Hindi po eh. Close, open, close, open. Think about this. When a child is born, the hands of a child are like this. Ang bata po, ganyan ang kamay. When a person dies, symbolically, the hands are like this. Total surrender na po. So the movement of life is from this to this. And if you are open, what happens? You have beautiful eyes. You have eyes that are filled with love, with joy, with hope. Sometimes I look at the eyes of some people and it's filled with anger, greed. Siguro kasi hindi open. So today, let's learn to go back to what the Lord is telling us, to be open to the kingdom of God. You know, how to be open? There is a poem by Robert Frost, I think, about two roads diverged in a wood. And I chose the one less traveled and that has made all the difference in my life today the lord invites us and not take the road less traveled and you will find some joy there will be a beautiful ice that is the secret of the kingdom of god the kingdom of this world teaches us to pursue, to be proud, to be angry, to own, to get everything. There is no joy, real joy, when your hands are like this. But there is so much joy when your hands are like this. Choose the road less trouble. So today the Lord tells us, be open. Open minded, open-hearted, and open-handed. Now, how do we do that? First of all, awareness. Marami po kasi, it's all about myself. That's my awareness. I, me, and myself. You're not open. You're always, it's all about you. So the Lord tells us today, reminds us again, be aware that there is a God. 
Ang dami po mga tao, they, they don't have God in their life, so it's all about them. More money, more prestige, more knowledge. It's, it's I, me, and myself. There is more openness if you have the perspective of God. You see deeper, you see farther, because you even see eternal life beyond this life simply because of the eyes of faith. So today, let's be open. Practical thing is, please take time to be aware of God. How, how do you do that? You pray. You listen. You take time. Many times we are so burdened, we forget there is a God. Many times we are so blessed, enjoying our blessings, forget there is a God. Awareness, inclusive awareness, not exclusive. See, marami sa atin, exclusive. It's all awareness about myself. There's a big world out there. There are people out there, especially there are people who are suffering and going hungry or suffering injustice. So let go of selfishness and self-centeredness. Be aware that there is a God and be aware that there are people aside from yourself. It can happen that there are people who just talk about themselves. Remember one time I was in a get-together and this guy started talking about himself. Oh yeah, it's all about him, his opinions, you know, his achievements. So I was just quiet. Oh, okay. <laughs> he needed an audience, obviously. Hindi naman conversation gusto ng iba, audience. <laughs> Listen to me. Hindi po. So I was just quiet. Aba, nakapuna. He felt na, oh, I was quiet. So, oh, have you, oh, Father August, how about you? How about you? You say something about me. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> That's how people sometimes are just so in love with themselves. You cannot be open. If it's just an ex exclusive openness, awareness. Number two, understanding. If you are an understanding person, you can really be open to others. Marami sa atin, we don't want to understand. Basta itong gusto ko, this is my point, that's it. Let's debate, let's talk, talk logic. Ganun na eh. Uh, there's some people who who talk preparing for the answer right away. You're not really listening. Anong pambala ko dito? Panlaban ko agad. The Lord invites us to understand with humility. Yun yung road less traveled. If you listen with humility, a lot of things fall into place. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says, Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not, lean not on your own understanding. Give room for God and you will really understand. Lord, ano pa? Paano ba ito? Go to the scriptures. Then you will understand. And when you have people that you don't understand, you listen to them. Don't, don't shut them off. Don't uh, debate with them. Paninan lang ganun kuminsan. So, learn to let go of your pride. If you let go of your pride, there will be more understanding. I remember there are people who, want, who always cannot understand. You know, more than trying to understand, be an understanding person. We pray for that grace. Lord, help me to understand. Remember, St. Francis, help me to seek not so much to be understood as to understand. Understand means to stand under. Tatayo ka sa ilalim ng taong yon. You put yourself at the feet of that person. Then you can understand. Humility is the key. Uh, I had an experience in Korea. Confession, first confession ever. 
And, you know, the, the, the lady, the old lady was saying so many things. Oh my God, sabi ko, I can understand only about 30, maybe 40%. I was new. I kept saying, oh, ne, oh, ne, mm, ne. Just ko, sabi ko, Panginoon, ano mang sinasabi nito, bahala na kayo, basta, ne, mm. Guess what? After the confession, the old woman said, Father, I want to tell you something. Sabi ko, ito na naman, mag-Korea na naman. And you know what she said? You know, Father, you are the most understanding priest I've ever confessed. Kung alam mo lang, Diyos ko po, sabi ko. But the point here is this. There are people you don't understand three things. Number one, maybe just give them your attention. Just, okay, just be there. At least give an attention to them. It means be present. Attention. How can you give attention? Text ka ng text. Magsasit. Wala. Pala, it's all about your gadgets. That's also some, many times for me a sign of not being aware of presence of people. And so, okay. That's the first step. Understanding number two step is if you can go to the level up, appreciation. If you appreciate someone, uh, the doors open, the locks are, un you know, unlocked. The wonder of appreciation. And if you still cannot understand that person, eh, the acceptance na lang. Okay, I accept you as you are. I love you just the way you are. Don't go changing, trying to please me. <laughs> okay, acceptance. And so they've come to the third level then, honest acceptance. There are many things we cannot accept in life. So what are we called? Go to the extra mile, the road less traveled, and be honest. I am a sinful person. In honesty, I can accept that. Or the love has died. Take it. The bitter pill, accept it in all honesty. Or, I have cancer. Painful. But once you accept it, something happens. With acceptance comes clearance. It sets you free. Tanggapin mo na. Nawala na kayo. <laughs> Tanggapin mo na. Nawala ka ng pera. Tanggapin mo na na matanda ka na talaga. So, these are realities. Once we accept, we are free because of honesty. The truth sets us free. So, sisters and brothers, accept that there is a God. Stop playing God. There is a God. We all will die sooner or later. The sooner we accept these things, the freer we are. That's what it means. But the key is honesty this time. Face the light, the shadow is behind you. Turn your back to the light, the shadow is always in front of you. Tanggapin na natin that there is a God. And one more thing, please. Tanggapin natin that we are servants. The gospel says today that we are servants. We have a master. Aba mga iba, they cannot accept their servants. They are the masters. Hello? The Lord is the one telling us already, you are not a master. You and I are just servants. And we are accountable to this master. And you know, the warning is very stern. You must be prepared for at an hour, you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Tanggapin natin. We will face God someday. Ang problema sa atin, denial. No, no, wala, wala, wala. Or alam natin, but still we deny. See, we are not honest. Acceptance gives you clearance. You know what clearance? Clear answers. Clear answers. 
Once you have acceptance, you have clearance, clear answers. The truth sets us free. So dear friends, and one of the things that I have, I have learned in my life is this. I have accepted it. I am not that good as others think I am, as I think I am. No, no. I know I'm not that good. But I'm not that bad either. And I have accepted that. And I'm at peace with that. So wala na akong issue. You have hit the bottom line, you're okay. Hanggat hindi mo na hit yung bottom line, you're always like that. Acceptance. And finally, sisters and brothers, if you want to be to have beautiful eyes, always end with loving decision and action. May underline the word loving. Because we all make decisions, we all have actions, but many times our decisions and actions are not out of love, out of anger, out of obligation, ganun. The word loving is the road less traveled. So whatever decision you make in life, let it be out of love. And uh, sana you can tell someday and sing what I did for love. And um, you can say, I did it my way. No, change my. I did it love's way. I did it God's way. Sana po ganon. The road less traveled. And the treasures in your heart. Please don't forget, you have many treasures in your heart. Marami sa atin walang worldly treasures. So, but we have a lot of treasures from the heart, in the heart. Your goodness, your, your, your smile, your humility, your generosity. These are treasures. Please don't don't uh, think that everything is about money. Silang mayaman, hindi po mayaman din tayo. You who try so hard, you who try to be patient, try to pray. These are your real treasures. Who care really for the children and and who are sincere to your friends. Yan po ang tunay na yaman. Please don't forget. You can always say. This is from the heart. Beautiful. You have found a real treasure. You have beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes means loving eyes. Eyes filled with hope. Eyes filled with peace. Eyes filled with joy. Remember, to whom much is given, much is also required. Let's continue to take the road less traveled. It's a road that is not seen. It is a road that is often tinatabi-tabi lang. You're not in the highway. You're just in the sideways. Either way, that is the road that Mama Mary took. Hindi siya nagpa-staring, hindi siya nagpa-sikat. Quiet, simple, just doing everything with love. That is our model. That is our mother so dear friends let's ask the lord then to continue to be with us may we be open let go of our selfishness uh, may we have humility honesty simplicity on the road less traveled and on the road that leads to god's heart close open and beautiful eyes beautiful eyes ka? oh you and okay <laughs> let me end with this see if you're a little gay if you're very aware you can form a circle and there's a code i received this open and i pass it closed mm. One more time, huh? I received this closed and I passed this closed. 
One more. I see this open, and I pass this open. Anong code? Watch my lips. I receive this open, and I pass it open. Mm. I receive this closed, and I pass it closed. Mm. Gets nyo? Kuha na. <laughs> Be more aware. Little things mean a lot. And that's where God is speaking to us the most simple ways. We bow our heads today as we thank God too for all priests. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of all my brother priests, we like to thank God for the gift of priesthood. What a gift. Tremendous gift and worthy as we are. And we also thank people who are gifts to our priesthood. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Mama Mary, Mother of Priests, help us to take the road less troubled, to take the road of love, humility, kindness, hiddenness, generosity, honesty. Amen, Lord. Amen.